Ladies and gentlemen, it is November the 6th and we have a new Pixel software update to talk about. It is not anything super massive, insane, crazy, but it is an update and it will be hitting your phone very, very soon. So I thought it would be good to quickly go over the change log for, again, the November 2024 Pixel update. Under Bluetooth, we have a fix for issues with Bluetooth range under certain conditions. Notice the number three at the end. And what this tells you is that this is applicable to the Pixel 9 series of devices. Also, a number three, Pixel 9 devices. Fix for issue observing camera tilt when zooming between cameras under certain conditions. Under display and graphics, a fix for an issue causing white dots to flash under certain conditions. A fix for issue with screen brightness flickering under certain conditions. This is a number two, which means it is exclusively talking about the Pixel 8a. Under sensors, fix for issue occasionally preventing adaptive brightness from activating in certain conditions. We're back to the Pixel 9. And then a fix for issue in pressing the keyboard dismiss button in certain conditions, also for the Pixel 9. And then under user interface, general improvements for stability. I read this backwards. Performance and stability in certain UI transitions and animations. Number one is for Pixel 6 all the way through the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Now, of course, as this is a Pixel update, it does take quite a while. They're faster than they used to be, but this is a 56 megabyte update, and it just they take a long time on Pixels because they install while you're able to continue using the device, and once it's done, you hit the reboot button and everything is just done. But if you want to do this update a little bit faster, you can sideload it. I will put a link to a video down below where I explain this entire process, but you are actually able to go and download. It's already up. You can see here for the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. This is the November update. It is live. You are able to download this and you can sideload it on your computer using your computer. Again, I'm going to put a link to that video explaining that process in the description down below. It'll speed the process up a little bit. More often than not, in particular, if it's a big update, that is what I do with most of my devices. When Android 15 dropped, that is what I did, and it allowed me to have the thing installed and ready to go, and then I'm able to find stuff and bring you guys a video that much quicker. So look for that link down below. I should also mention that this does also include the Android security bulletin for November, which means your device will be that much more up-to-date, safe, and secure. Guys, that's pretty much it for this one. Like I said earlier, nothing too crazy. I do want to hear feedback from you guys down below. Do you notice anything else going on? Any other changes? Have you seen these bugs? Do they seem fixed? Let me know in those comments down below. Subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.